away from Bristol. What's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of Cosmatch Race Recap. Let's get right into a very entertaining race, a Bristol Night Race, the last race of the Cup Series playoffs for the 16th round. Cutting it down to 12, today's race certainly did not disappoint. The front row to start today's race was Danny Hamlin and Martin Truex. The start of the race was absolutely fantastic. Martin Truex getting a great launch on the top line with Chase Elliott falling in second, hot on his heels. Chase Elliott wasting no time making the pass for the lead on lap 7. Elliott dominating the first portion of stage 1, leading pretty much every single lap until the competition caution on lap 40. On the restart after the competition caution, Chase Elliott shot back out into the lead with a new person in second place, his teammate Kyle Larson. Elliott was still out in front with 30 laps left to go on the stage. With Kyle Larson still in second place, Danny Hamlin in third was just waiting, chomping at the bit to make his move for that top position as the leaders were battling through lap traffic. Kyle Larson and Danny Hamlin using that lap traffic to their advantage, making the pass on Chase Elliott for the lead, Kyle Larson in first, now Danny Hamlin in second. Danny Hamlin, however, eventually took the lead from Kyle Larson, being able to maneuver that lap traffic just a little bit better, Danny Hamlin winning his ninth stage of the season. After the first stage, everybody came down pit road to put on four fresh tires and make some much needed adjustments. Kyle Larson winning the race off of pit road, which meant he was going to lead the field to green to start stage two. As early in stage two, we had a three-way battle for the lead between Kyle Larson, Brad Keselowski, and Danny Hamlin. Danny Hamlin winning the battle, grabbing the early lead in stage two. As we had our first caution due to incident of the day on lap 168, a multiple car pileup, Ryan Newman getting the worst of it. Eric Almarola, a playoff driver, fortunately lucked out on this caution as he blew an oil line on his race car, which forced him to come down pit road, being able to fix it, not even losing a lap. Because you know, as they say, cautions breed cautions, and that is exactly what happened, fortunate enough for him as he was able to group back up with the leaders. With all the craziness of stage 2 behind us, we jumped right to 20 laps left to go on the stage. As we had cars on different tire strategies, which was going to make the finish to stage 2 very interesting. As we saw a repeat of stage 1, Kyle Larson and Danny Hamlin battling for that stage 2 victory. As this time, Kyle Larson was able to hold off Danny Hamlin, just barely winning the stage, getting some much valuable playoff points. As we strapped ourselves in for a wild and chaotic stage three. As there was 250 laps left to go in the third and final stage, I am just gonna bring you guys right to the action, having multiple different leaders in stage three, Kyle Larson, Kevin Harvick, Danny Hamlin, and Chase Elliott, just to name a few. With all the great bumping and banging side-by-side -side racing, we had to know a caution was going to come out soon, and that is exactly what happened as we had a string of caution after caution after caution. One of the more serious ones included Danny Hamlin, who on a restart hit Kyle Larson, cutting down a tire, which forced him to come to pit road, with about 100 laps left to go in the race. With 55 laps left to go in the race, that is when things really started to heat up, as we saw Chase Elliott trying to hold off the veteran Kevin Harvick for that race victory. Jumping right to 34 laps left to go in the race, we saw Chase Elliott and Kevin Harvick door to door for that race lead. Getting so close to each other, the two even touched, causing the nine car to cut down a tire, which Chase Elliott was not very happy about. Taking Chase Elliott's chances to win the race away, as the battle for the race win was now between Chase Elliott's teammate, Kyle Larson, and Kevin Harvick. Kyle Larson making a great pass for the lead, with two laps left to go in the race, Kevin Harvick made one last attempt to get by him, even hitting the back of Kyle Larson's car, which sent him on a wild ride. Kyle Larson being able to hold on to get a crazy and wild Bristol Night Race win. Way to go, Kyle Larson. And to top it off with even more fireworks, we saw Kevin Harvick and Chase Elliott get into it after the race, which is certainly going to make things interesting as we advance further into the playoffs. Speaking about the playoffs, some drivers that got eliminated from the playoffs were Eric Almirola, Michael McDowell, and Tyler Reddick. Well guys, that was it for a very entertaining Bristol race. Let me know what your favorite part about the race was. Always like, comment, and subscribe. I am going on vacation this week to Florida, but we will still have videos for you guys. A Monday Night Raw recap on Tuesday, and a Friday Night Smackdown recap on Saturday. Peace out. Good morning, bye, bye.